morning. This is your Governor News for Thursday, October 10th. Let's check in with some of our reporters around the mansion. Decca is selling Krispy Kreme donuts for $10 a donut. There are glazed, chocolate iced, lemon filled, raspberry filled, and cream filled. You may pre-order your donuts in room 240 any day is any day this week. Donuts will be delivered next Monday, October 14th. There are only two weeks until the end of the grading period. Are your grades whether you and your parents want them to be? Don't risk losing your phone, Xbox, or weekend freedom. Come down to the library for study tables on Tuesdays and Thursdays to get help from teachers or even just have a quiet place to get your work done. You can find help for any subject on both days, but it is recommended that you join Tuesdays for Spanish, English, Social Studies, and Science. On Thursdays, we have teachers that are excellent at math, science, and English. Still not interested? How does a dress down sound? Come to study tables three times and receive a dress down pass. See you there. Boys basketball trials will be October 23rd, October 24th, and October 28th from 3.30 to 6 p.m. Both days. You must have a physical on file with Coach Pio in the athletic office by the gym and be able to try out. No physical, no tryout. No exceptions. If you need a physical packet, please see Coach Pio in the gym area. Do not wait to get your physical done. If you are currently playing a fall sport, you will be able to try out once your season is officially over. If you have questions, please see Coach Pio. Attention seniors and early grads, our administrators and counselors will be hosting a financial aid information session at Morden High School Library on Wednesday, October 16th, beginning at 5 p.m. Please join them and bring any and all questions you have about the financial aid process. Go girls! There will be a call-out meeting for girls and boys interested in swimming Tuesday, October 15th from 3 to 4 p.m. in the pool area. The student government will have a suggestion box outside of room 159 for, for us to give us ideas, concerns, or complaints. So the student government can bring suggestions to administration or governors come and join student government meetings on Wednesdays after 7th and 8th period. This week's challenge for National Bullying Prevention Month, make friends with someone you don't know at school. If you ever felt isolated from others at school or you were new at school and it took time to make friends, you know what it feels like to be left out. Or even if you were never isolated, imagine how it would feel. Be a leader who takes action. Be a modern governor. Make friends with someone new. Students, here's a great opportunity to get three hours of community service time and enjoy some delicious pizza. Saturday, October 12th, HC3 Hesfield Commerce and Community Creative is sponsoring a fall cleanup in the Hesfield area. Please meet at Freddy's Steakhouse on the corner of 165th and Kennedy at 9 o'clock in the morning. We will end at 12 o'clock celebrating our efforts with pizza. If you are interested or have any questions, please stop by Mrs. Herring's classroom room 146 and pick up a waiver form. What's up, Gov? The homecoming dance will be held on October 11th from 9 p.m. to 11 p.m. in the Morton High School gym. Tickets are $8. You can purchase your tickets, tickets during all three lunch periods on Thursday and Friday, but please bring exact change. Tickets are also available for purchase in room 159 after school only. Due to the high volume of students expected, there will be a limit on the admission. Please get your tickets in advance. Any non-Morton student attending with a Morton student must have filled out the non-Morton form and turned it in to Ms. Basil by the end of school Thursday, October 10th. Homecoming attire must be school appropriate to enter the dance. Inappropriate attire will not be permitted. Drinks and snacks will be available for purchase, so plan to bring some extra chicken and cash. Celia Cruz is known as the Queen of Salsa. Celia was born on October 21st, 1925 in Havana, Cuba, and was the oldest of 14 children. She began her career in Cuba, where she was recognized as a vocalist of a popular group named Señora Mataquera. In the 1950s, Cruz rose to fame as a singer of Guaraches, earning the, name, the nickname of Guarachera de Cuba. She also became known as the Queen of Latin Music due to her contributes in the United States. In the early 1960s, after the Cuban Revolution caused nationalism of the music industry, Cruz left Cuba and became a symbol and spokesperson of the Cuban community in exile. In the 1960s, she collaborated with Tito Puente, recording the legendary tune Bemba Colora. Celia's success was so huge, she performed in Paris at the Olympia, a very prestigious venue. She continued to collaborate with many great salsa legends like Johnny Bachero and Willie Collin. Celia made a total of 37 studio, studio albums, which included great hits like La Negra Tiene, Tiene Tumbo and La Vida Es Carnaval. 
She received many awards and prizes and numerous distinctions, including five Grammy Awards. Her catchphrase, azúcar, meaning sugar, has become one of the most recognizable symbols of salsa music. She suffered from a great aggressive brain tumor, and which was discovered at the end of 2002. Her last album was Regalo del Alma, meaning the gift of the soul. In March 2003, the U.S. television network Univision paid tribute to her in their special event, which involved figures like, like Gloria Esteban, Mark Anthony, and La India. It was her last public appearance on... On July 16, 2003, in Fort Lee, New Jersey, Celia died in her home at the age of 77. October is National Anti-Bullying Month. It is also the month that the PBIS team has chosen to focus on the character trait respect. What a great opportunity to spread support and positivity throughout the governor's mansion. In keeping with this positive theme, the counselors are asking that teachers and students add positive messages to the bulletin board outside of the guidance using post-it notes. It could be things like, you're a good friend, be brave, or nice shoes. As the boards fill up, students and staff are encouraged to take messages off of the board for themselves and others in need of a smile. Make sure you guys come out and cheer on the girls volleyball team today as they play their last game of the regular season against Gary Westside. JV starts at 5 p.m. and following the JV game, they're going to announce the seniors for their senior night and finish off the night with the varsity game. Hope to see you all there. Today you can check out girls soccer sectionals at EC. Central and support your girls here at home by attending JV and varsity volleyball playing West Side at 5 p.m. Here are your lunch options for today. Thanks for watching your Governor News. Have a great day.